DPS has been around now for epilepsy for about uh, 12, 13 years. And, and if we think about the, the kind of the, the starting point, of course, we had the, the randomized control Asante trial that showed the efficacy of the ANTD brain stimulation. And actually, in, in Europe, we, we started doing the, for clinical, clinical, everyday clinical practice, the ANTD BS already like 2010, so it was quite soon after the, the data was published there, but it took much longer for the FDA to, to finally approve the therapy. So we kind of had a head start in, 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 in Europe and, and in some other countries. And I think like ATDBS therapy has been a very like exciting addition to the treatment armamentarium we have for refractory epilepsy. I personally have been involved in, in, in the field of epilepsy for the past 30 years. And I would say that the, the was kind of the, the, the most exciting thing that, that has happened so far. And, and also like it kind of, I was very happy that it kind of translated into the clinical benefits for the patient, because, you know, in, in Finland, we have like, we have not a very huge population, but we, we have very like good follow-up uh, for these patients. And, and I personally, knew all of these patients beforehand and I'm responsible for what happens to them over, over, over like long period of time. So, and, and when we started that, that of course we were excited that this is a new, something new here, but it really has, has translated to a, a real clinical benefit for the patient. What we have seen here is actually, it's, it's not a simple technique and you, you, you have to understand the, the basics of the therapy, the, the neurophysiology and the electrophysiology there. And you have, you have to really like dedicate yourself to, to, to the, do the proper follow-up of the patients, and also like, like trying to get uh, uh, understanding about the the evolving therapy because now it's like we have getting now new devices for the AT DBS. I, I mean, like the new generation, and 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 it's like every t- every year we understand more and more, and and for that reason, it it really like requires a, a let's say a lot of dedication and a good team. That, that you, you you need to have in order to make it successful. Maybe the, the greatest recent development is that we, about two years ago, we got the new Percept PC device that is also able to record the local field potentials and, and register brain activity. It was originally designed more f- like from the movement disorder perspective, and it's not perfect for the purpose of epilepsy, but now we are kind of, kind of we have a new tool that give us also like a, let's say a window to, to, the, to, the, to, to peep into the brains of the patients. And what we are doing here is not, not just trying to build up um, uh, a useful system that you can apply to clinical practice here. So I would say that, that that's like, and then also like now we have new electrodes that you have more control about the uh, kind of the electrical field. But the thing is that actually there is this gap of knowledge there that we have a technique, but we really don't know it's yet like like how to best to apply it here. So and actually it took took some 10, 10 years in order to, to really understand the old device there. So I think that that what we have been been, been happening here is that we have been like like getting the uh, the international shared experience. Like how this works and what you need to do there, based on the the older models, and of course the basic principles is something that stays the same. But now we got kind of new tools in in a way of of getting more information, and now we just have to make a good understanding, like how to best use that information, not in just in the like the research perspective, but also like how to implement that to everyday clinical practice. But I would say that that it's like it's it's something that we understand better every year. And and that's like we, we know better like whom to select for the therapy. And also like then the outcomes are are better than than when we when we started.